Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the USB to UR CH340 chip introduction. Okay. So usually, when we talk about the USB to UR chip, we will think about the FTDI or Silicon Lab. But for this for this chip, compared the previous two. It's, it is much cheaper, okay, and has the same function. So let's take a look at the data sheet for it. So this is the data sheet. This is uh, CH340 USB to UR. So this is USB. This is computer or other USB host. And uh, this is the two function for it. Usually, we will use the UR function to con communicate with the FPGA or communicate with some other microcontroller. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look at the feature for it. So the first things are uh, it support to USB 2.0. Okay. It support to this one. And of course, it uh, is a UR interface. Okay. Next, take a look at the speed. The speed it will from this one to this one. Okay. And it also support the modern interface signal. Okay. Take a look at the uh, support voltage is from uh, 5 watt to 3.3 .3 and even 3 watt. Okay. And the most important thing is this one integrate the 12 MHz clock. Okay. It integrate inside the chip. And it has this this uh, package which means uh, it's, it's very friendly for the um, soldering okay okay here is a package so usually we will use these two chip this one and this one this is the most simple one we have the RX TX and R RTS, okay. So for most uh, the most of the application, we use these two. And for this one, we have more signal for the modern interface. For example, if you want to download the firmware into the ESP32, we need uh, something like this, RTS. And the DTR signal. Also, we will need the uh, uh, TX and RX. So, if you need more signal for your control, for your uh, microcontroller, you can use this one. Okay. So, uh, for this two, this one is SOP uh, sixteen. This one is. SOPA, which means it's friendly, uh, it's very good for the PCB layout and also soldering. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. So here, here is the pin description. So the pin function for each uh, package. Okay. What we need to notice is this pin. Okay, is this pin. So if the VCC is 3.3, .3, we need to connect this pin to VCC. If the uh, VCC is 5 volt, we need to connect one capacitor to the ground. Okay. So we need to pay attention this pin. Okay.
Okay, so the other pin is the regular, uh, regular uh, is the regular pin. Okay, this is uh, USB signal, USB signal. This is a UR signal. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So it's here. Uh, this chip already has the USB pull up register. Okay. So we can directly connect uh, these two pins to the USB bus. And also, it has the uh, integrated power on res reset circle. Okay. So, which means it can uh, reset by itself inside the chip. And uh, um, For this, for this type of chip, it has integrate clock generate. Okay, so we usually use this two, use this one, and this one. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So this is uh, a EP wrong for this chip which we can set some config data okay so this is a description for the EP row and uh, so here it uh, uh, describes the 5 volt and the 3.3 volt power voltage again so how we connect the VCCP okay and uh, uh, here it uh, describes uh, uh, data format, share data format, okay. Start B and uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 data B, 1 or 2 stop B, okay. This is uh, bordering from the lowest one is this one and the highest one is this one, okay. And here, this is uh, uh, this is all kinds of pyramid for this chip. So here, this is uh, support voltage V three V three V three. Okay, for different different uh, power supply. This is five. This is three point three. Okay. So this is the application example circle. This is USB to RS two three two. So this is uh, 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 CH three hundred forty, and this is uh, RS two three two chip. Okay. This is R. This one is has the clock. Uh, this is need the outside clock. This one uh, no need the outside clock here. Okay. And uh, let's go down. Here, this is uh, this is a simple version. So you you will see it only has RX and TX, and here has more signal. Yeah, has more signal here. Okay. For this uh for this application, this side we didn't use one RS. 232 chip so this is a sim simplified it version okay this is simplified it version here okay this one is another communication um, format another config configuration for this uh, UR chip okay Okay, this is communicate with a uh, microcontroller, microcontroller, 
This Rx connected the Tx. This Tx connected the Rx. Okay. And then this one is uh, we need to pay attention. So consider the uh, power supply. So how we how we uh, design the power supply for this this chip with the uh, MCU, okay? It mentioned uh, not recommend this and MCU be powered separately, okay? It not recommended, okay? So if the power supply has to be separated, so it suggests use this chip because this chip has some inside dial in the chip uh, to prevent the um, it has uh, the dial built it in dial to prevent the current flow current flow back okay so this chip is for the separated power supply okay so this chip is very simple uh, let's take a look uh, next video let's take a look how we design the circle for it and uh, how we design our test ball to test this chip okay so this is this uh, this is this video this is a uh, chip introduction for this chip and uh, we can use it to replace the FTDI or other uh, or other USB to UR chip is a good choice and is much cheaper okay so this is for this video I'm Michael see you next time